Hey lovies, I'm Sharon, present day. Hey, I'm Sharon from back in the day. We, we are going, are going to, share to share with you our relaxed care experiences. experiences. So by the end of this video, you'll learn. Well girl, I don't know what you're gonna learn. I'm just gonna reminisce, travel back in time. We're gonna have fun and I'm gonna share with you my experience from back in the day. So keep watching. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sharon, and today I'm going to share with you my experiences of getting a relaxer in the late 90s, early 2000s to today. For the best relaxed hair tricks and tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell so you're notified every week when I upload a video you don't want to miss it. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click that bell. So I was just thinking about my relaxed hair journey and how much I've grown and we have grown as a community, meaning the relaxed hair community. So much has changed since I was a kid growing up back in the day to now. Remember, this is all fun, all humor, like it's like a little comedy skit. <laughs> So let's travel back in time, back in time, to a place where bone straight relaxed hair was the ish. Bone straight hair was the only thing that mattered. Let's go back to that time. So when I was thinking about back in the day to now, I thought about my salon experience. I grew up going to the salon, my mom could do hair to a certain extent, like she was okay with it, but not really. I lived in my beautician's chair. I lived at the beauty parlor, <laughs> as we called it back in the day. Going to the salon, getting a relaxer was so much more different from back then to now. Oh my goodness. Ew. Do y'all see this? I have so much new growth. Hey lovies, so it's me back in the day. Okay, so it's been six weeks since my last perm and I have way too much new growth. I have to make an appointment immediately to get rid of this new growth. Um, no, I need bone straight hair. I can have no signs of new growth. Like, ew, no, please. Gotta make my appointment right now. We cannot have this. What year do you think I'm in with these butterfly clips, with the name earrings, with this set, this jumpsuit, looking like Juicy Couture, with my bag, coach. So first off, first off, first off, I want to know, am I the only one that called the relaxer a perm? Like, there was no relaxer. Can somebody please tell me what a relaxer is? Like, I don't know this relaxer. I know a perm. Comment down below, um, what did you call the relaxer? Did you call it a perm or was it a relaxer back in the day? I'm from South Florida and in my house, you called the beautician, you was like, hey so-and-so, um, I wanna schedule my perm. <laughs> like, that was, that's what it was. <laughs> So speaking from present day, because I'm Sharon from 2021, I stretch my relaxer to 13 weeks and then I get my relaxer. 13 weeks is three months. That's a long time comparing it to back in the day when I would get a relaxer and it would be recommended to get your relaxer every six to eight weeks. Like when I think back on that, I'm like, Really, six to eight weeks, I was getting my relaxer every six to eight weeks. And I remember being like, eight weeks is way too long to wait for a relaxer. Like, I would have way too much new growth. Like, no, girl, we cannot wait. Also, the shame. 
the shame and the guilt and the judgment that came with stretching your relaxer back in the day. Okay, so let's see. So it's me, Sharon, from back in the day. And today is salon day. And I honestly don't want to get my hair done because I am maybe three months since I had my last perm. So I have way too much new rose. I've never gone this long without a perm. And my stylist, she hates when I go too long without getting a relaxer. Like she recommends six to eight weeks. I do this all the time. I say I'm not gonna do it. I wanna do this again. This is the last time. But, but I always do it in I am so ashamed right now. When we get up in there and have to take this hat off, ciao. I'm nervous. Anyways, come with me. We are gonna go get our hair done. Let's go. really long for today's time like extremely long and I had to rock my sew in so yeah I wore it for about a month or so but it was hot I didn't feel like doing with my hair and then I went ahead and got some pin plaits you have to wear them at least a month or two killing them with my sew in and with my pin plaits I hope all my hair didn't fall off and break off because I never go over eight weeks. Please tell me I have it here. I know I'm so ashamed. You ready to get started? You, you want me to take the scarf off? I know, it's really bad. It's really bad, huh? So another thing I thought about with my experience with getting a relaxer back in the day and now is stretching your relaxer. How about stretching your relaxer wasn't a thing. I didn't know it existed. I didn't know what it was. I didn't even think it was possible for you to stretch your relaxer 13 weeks. In my head, you would be bald headed. You wouldn't have any hair unless you had a sew-in or some braids or something. And that's what stopped you from getting your hair relaxed. But other than that, you gonna be bald headed and that's just it. <laughs> So that's just what I thought and like I said that was my mentality back in the day thank God for growth and for knowledge and for YouTube and so back in the day we were told to get a relaxer every six to eight weeks which is ridiculous which is why I couldn't grow my hair past my shoulders way too many relaxers in a year I think back and I'm like ooh, so much over processing no wonder your hair can't grow so Let's see the experience of stretching your relaxer. Okay, lovey. So this is Sharon, me, present day. This is how I go to the salon. I have a baseball cap on, shades, workout clothes, but it's all black. So we're going to the salon. I'm going to get my hair done. I am 13 weeks post relaxer. This is just such a great, pleasant experience. We're going to get our hair done today. Let's go. Oh, hey. Hey, how are you? Great. You look so good. I'm loving the hair. Gorgeous. Good morning, everybody. Buenas. What would I like? Coffee, tea, or water? Um... This morning, I think I'm gonna go with coffee. Yes, please, cream and sugar. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you're ready? Okay, great. I grew some inches. <laughs> the coffee is amazing. Thank you so much. I just 
love coming to the salon and getting my hair done. Let's, let's get started. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to get my hair done. Ooh. I know I have so much new growth, right? I did good, perfect timing, right? 13 weeks, I tell you, is the perfect amount of time to stretch my relaxers. And you told me this. I know my stylist would tell me to wait Three months was good enough. She didn't want me to go any longer than three months. So she actually put me on to um, un under processing my relaxer and stretching my relaxer. So love her. Amazing. Get you a good stylist. I said this before. Let's talk about your experience with your relaxer and it burning. <sighs> Ciao. So traumatic. <laughs> Um, excuse me, um, I would like my hair extra straight, bone straight, like no texture. I want my hair to be completely straight. No kinks, no naps, no nothing. Bone straight. Please. Okay, so now the time has come for you to get your perm. You're sitting in the salon chair. She parts your hair in four sections and she's going to apply the perm starting from the back. So I remember sitting in the salon chair while my perm burns. All I could do is shake my head and think to myself, you can do it, Sharon. You got this. You can do it. Five more minutes for bone straight hair. <laughs> Crazy to think that. I remember sitting and fidgeting in my chair and always telling myself, beauty is pain. The worst part would be when it's time to rinse out my perm. And that water pressure just blasts on your scalp and you just feel like a layer of your scalp rinsing off with the relax. Like you could feel it like, Ugh, and then it burns and then all of a sudden you're like bawling. Like, Ugh. and then she goes in with the shampoo and you're like, please don't scratch, don't scratch it. Mm -mm. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. <laughs> like seriously, no. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I think back and I'm like, girl, you crazy. Like, you trying to burn a hole in your head. You cannot sit there and let your head burn because you want your hair straight. Like, that is craziness. This was when I was middle school. By the time I got to high school, I was not playing with that burn. Like, do not burn my scalp. Like, I cannot have a burn. Did we have a sensitive relaxer back in the day? Was that an option? Was that available for you to get? If you had sensitive scalp, could you have gotten the sensitive scalp relaxer? I need to look up when was that invented um, because I needed one <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> yes, it did burn back in the day. Not all the time, but sometimes I would get a burn and I would get a scab and you know all of that, the flakiness and nastiness. Um, and now I'm thinking present day like dang do relaxers burn like excuse me Susie can you please remember to leave a lot of texture in my hair you know how I like it yeah yeah with lots of waves and texture I don't want it too straight yes please thank you I love getting a relaxer it doesn't even burn. I don't feel anything. It feels like I'm getting a deep condition treatment. It's so relaxing. Do relaxers still burn? I don't even know. I don't leave it on long enough to get to the point of burning. And plus, we have sensitive scalp relaxers now, so you shouldn't get a burn. I don't think people burn when they get a relaxer anymore do they i don't know i don't get to the point where my relaxer burns my scalp because i don't leave it on long enough i don't even want my hair that straight and this year present day i don't think relaxers burn and i need to stop acting because when i did my relaxer myself so if you didn't check out my trying a new relaxer technique relaxing my hair at home video you need to go ahead and check that out i did perm my hair myself but i did you guys have a burn like i was burned and it formed a scab and it went away but i haven't had a burn to my scalp from a relaxer or a burn period in so long like i haven't i think the last time i had a burn and my head was 2011 
and that's when I decided to go natural. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that has changed with relaxed hair from back in the day to today is, of course, hair texture. I remember being at the wash bowl after my beautician washed all the perm out and she would wash and shampoo and then when she would walk away to get a product that would be my chance for me to sneak a touch of my hair and if my hair wasn't straight I would be so disappointed and annoyed <laughs> and I would be thinking to myself why didn't she let it stay on a little longer like I need my hair to be bone straight I don't want any texture I don't want to feel any new growth my hair needs to be straight and I would be so excited when my relaxer came out bone, super straight. That was the best day ever. No kinks, no waves, no curls, just bone straight hair. Exactly what I wanted. The best day ever. Well, today, relaxed hair comes in all different textures. We have regular relax. We have... <laughs> slightly under processed hair that is still considered relaxed and then we have text laxed hair so we have so many different types of relaxed hair girls and that has completely changed from back in the day and of course when we get to the washing bowl and she washes out my relaxer and shampoos it and then she walks away for a second that is the time when I take a sneak a feel of my roots to make sure that my hair is not straight to make sure that my hair is wavy and full of texture remember I only want my hair relaxed 80% straight that's it yes so the texture of relaxed hair has completely changed it is actually a plus for your hair to be under processed we are also being taught that your hair should be processed about 80% so it should be 80% straight um, you don't want to go completely straight as for back then that wasn't the case with talking about my salon experience I had to talk about the hooded dryer I love hate with the hooded dryer the difference between sitting under the dryer with a wrap and sitting under the dryer with rollers so if you know you know it's a different experience it's also the time it takes to dry your hair is a big difference so let's get into my experience with sitting under the dryer with a wrap to now sitting under the dryer with rollers let's see my hair turned out good it is bone straight like bone bone sleek slicked it's so straight now i'm gonna get under the dryer i'm feeling real 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 90s 2000s so i'm gonna get a wrap no roller set even though it's gonna take me about three hours to dry my hair i'm still getting a wrap so let's get under this dryer Y'all better go ahead and click that bell and subscribe and give me a comment and a like and everything because look, this is the dryer. But you know, after a while, after you've been under for like an hour and you got to start separating, you got to start separating the wrap so your hair, the hair underneath can get dry. It's taking too long. It's taking too long. It's so hot. Why did I wear this suit? I'm burning up. I'm sweating. <sighs> I need some water. I didn't bring any water with me. Dang, it's still wet. Am I dry yet? Can you check? Three more hours. But I've been under here for like two already. Three more hours. Oh yeah, hey lovies, it's me Sharon, present day. And it's time for me to get under the dryer. As you can see, I love to roller set my hair when it's time for me to dry my hair. So let's get under this dryer. <laughs> like, I hate flat hair. I need volume and rollers always help me achieve that look. So I don't get wraps anymore. 
because it takes too long to dry and my hair just comes out super, super, super flat. How much longer do I have? Okay, 30 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna be under hair for five hours. <laughs> Also, the results of your hair is different from a wrap and a roller set. So we're done? Okay. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I look so fetch. I look the bomb. I can't believe I have all this hair after pushing my perm back to... I thought I was going to be bald. I can't believe I have hair. And it's nice and bone straight and flat with a little bump. Just how I like it. <laughs> Sharon in the past loved a middle part. And of course I had to swoop some hair behind my ear. It's my go-to style. So I am so cute and I am so ready to hit the ball and go to the movies. Thank you so much. I love my hair. It looks so good. Thank you. We're done. So good and healthy. Where's my purse? I know my hair is so cute, right? She's like all day. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't been out the house in so long living my normal natural life that I'm up in here pretending like I'm leaving the salon and getting my hair done and when I say I feel so good and so happy about it <laughs> listen we gonna play pretend once a month P.S. I don't look this good when I go to the salon your girl be looking homeless but anyways for the sake of this video <laughs> I actually love the salon and I miss the salon so much I haven't been because of COVID so I haven't been over a year yeah over a year to the salon which is so sad but I am can't believe I have hair like look at Jesus look at God <laughs> your girl got hair <laughs> So those are my experiences from getting a relaxer back in the day to now. I know this was different. I brought some like comedy to my channel. To me, I had a good time doing this video. I think this was the most fun video I've done. I was able to put some fashion in it. You know I'm a fashion girl. You know I went to school for fashion. I was able to recreate uh late 90s early 2000s outfit so i hope you guys loved it dig deep in my closet for that oh 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 coach purse what year am i in comment down below <laughs> and i love it like i look like i came straight out of 2000 so anyways i had so much fun with this video and sharing my experience with you guys of getting a relaxer over the years and how much I've grown and matured and of course um, how I think of my relaxer and how I think of my relaxed hair has changed so much. So hopefully you got some good laughs watching this and also you, hopefully you learned something as well. Comment down below and let us know your most cringeworthy relaxed hair moments or habits from back in the day. Let us know in the comment section down below. Check out these videos next for relaxed hair content and more. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, 
be sure to subscribe and share it with all your friends. Thanks, lovies, and I'll see you in the next one.